Okay, let's talk about investment. I'm Ashy, and this is Crafty with Ashy. Today, I'm showing you a time lapse of a painting that I did. Um, this, I cannot remember the name of this location, but this was a location in Ireland. It was um, from a picture that I took when I was on vacation there. And the story of this location is that this person bought the land and then started to build and ran out of money after building the entry road and this beautiful entryway. And it's amazing. And I really enjoyed this location, but it really gets you thinking just about investment, right? So this person chose to invest in this land and chose to invest in starting this build and then was never able to complete it because he didn't follow the biblical advice of don't start to build your tower before you've added up all the costs. And I think that um, this is just a nice reminder of we need to sit down and look at the whole picture before we start doing something. And that can include financial picture or that can include um, other types of costs, right? So whether it's the cost of time or the cost of money or the cost of social interactions with friends, um, everything that we do has a cost associated with it. And it's really wise to pause and think about those costs before you do something. And for this example, that was financial. And sometimes that's what it looks like in our life too. You know, we should, before we make a large investment, whether it be a home or you know, contributing to your retirement or purchasing a car, things like that. We should sit down and look at what that is going to cost us and make sure that you, we have that amount and that that's reasonable within our lifestyle for us to spend. But in other ways, you know, you can look at the cost of maybe taking on another job or contributing your time somewhere, right? So um, that's going to cost you your time and our time is valuable as well, right? So it's balancing out. Okay, so if I am going to do this one thing with my time, if I'm going to take this extra job, is that going, am I willing to make the sacrifice of my time with other areas of my life, whether that be sleep or family time or socialization with friends? And just adding up those costs and making wise decisions is, it's biblical. I mean, so we know that it's smart, <laughs> um, but let's get back to painting. So uh, something that, you know, we do when we're painting is we are investing in ourselves and that might just be, you know, for relaxation or free time or to clear your head and for me I guess it's all of those things it helps um, build my confidence and it helps build my vision and being able to see the different pieces of the picture and the composition is great for my brain and um, you know, it's been shown that doing creative things helps to ward off dementia and anxiety and depression and all of those things. So this is a way that I invest in myself and it is um, part of my free time. And then if we look at, you know, maybe the financial side of it, yes, painting is a financial investment and I am not doing this professionally, so I'm not going to earn anything from this. So this is costing me money. Now, my mom 
very lovely lady woman she's amazing but she purchased me um, paints and these watercolor pads um, for Christmas and they're pretty high quality and I'm really enjoying painting on them and with the paints um, I'll link them down below so um, they're from Amazon but I'll link them down below so that you can look at that and see if that's something you want to invest in um, but for me, you know, starting this painting on this brand new pad of paper that is a little bit pricier than what I've been using previously, it, it, it triggers something, I guess, in you. And I think it's something that, that I need to work on with myself, right? That, okay, I'm investing in myself and I am investing in my mental health and my i guess satisfaction with life right we all need to have things that are just our own and that helps us to remain satisfied that's the only word i can think of right now um with our lives and it helps us just to clear clear out space, clear out the cobwebs and investing in this paper, which again, my mom paid for it, but actually starting a painting on it and choosing to use it was another step, right? Um, and it doesn't have to be a masterpiece, but you can still choose to invest in yourself and in the process and just go for it. I think it's very beneficial to just go for it sometimes. So this painting from start to finish took me about two and a half hours. That included the pretty detailed drawing that I did and then all of the painting. And I was very pleased with how this turned out. This was actually my first larger scale watercolor painting that I've done. All of my other watercolor paintings have been in my small sketchbook, um, which I think is like eight and a half by five and a half inches. So I was really pleased with how this one turned out given that it was my first one on this. And I really hope that you liked this video. If you did, give it a like and check out um, some of my other watercolor videos on my channel. Thank you so much for watching today.